Greetings, everybody. Uh, welcome to Server 21. I'm Abernal Neelix. Um, this is going to be another Stella video. It's grown since the last time I did one, so I'm going to go through some things. Um, it's kind of a big deal for me. I've been testing my ship, and there'll be a uh, little clips, kind of, I think, in the description, maybe. If I can piece them together as one, we'll see how long I make this part. Um, so, uh, for those of you who haven't watched me before, welcome. Uh, what I like to do is I like to make these videos like a training video um, for my crew. However, uh, the page got leaked out, I guess, and so now I have viewers. And so I try to make them as entertaining or, I don't know, maybe instructive, I guess. Um, so, for those of you who have been playing the game for a long, long time, this is probably going to be nothing new to you. Uh, this is for the people that are uh, basically brand new, and I have a lot of new people uh, that have joined our server and uh, found their way onto my page, on, I mean, my alliance, I mean, and um, so this is for them, mostly, <laughs> but welcome anyways, right? And thank you all for uh, subscribing and, and liking and stuff, and of course, thank you for your comments. I mean, that lets me know like tidbits like hey you ought to use this guy instead of that guy and I do test them out and and some of them have worked very well thank you very much so um in the other clips that I mentioned just a minute ago I had beaten the level 33 epic by myself I soloed it and um and I was very proud of that I did it again to make sure it wasn't a fluke and, um, of course, I'm not using any exocomps or anything like that. I'm just using pure ability of the crew, the strength of the crew, and the ship. Uh, of course, with all the researches that I've done, I haven't done them all. But I'm uh, getting closer and closer as time goes by. And so now I got it at a certain point. So let's go ahead and get to it. Right now, I am going to attempt this. I'm uh, trying to get... I'm going to see if I can beat this level 35 uncommon. And as you see, it's a uh, 45 million. And um, so what I have beaten before by myself, I have beaten this guy here, this epic. Um, as you see, it's a uh, 25 million. So that's quite the leap that I'm going through. I um, I was able, I'm able to beat those 33 uncommons pretty good. I beat a level 33 rare. Of course, not so different from the epic as far as power goes. But, um, this time I'm going to try this 35. And see, as I've mentioned in the other parts of the, of the video, like uh, uh, the one that I was making for the epic uh, try and the, and the um, rare try, um, it's important for those of you who have a, a Stella, and of course if you have two of them, to strengthen one up. And you can test your metal by soloing a a target now what that does for your team is that if you can beat it by yourself then that means you can secure the win for the other stellates um they may blow up and, and all that but as long as your ship survives they're all going to get that loot they may not get as much as you you're probably going to be the only one that gets a chest out of it of course because your ship lives um, and I've, I've heard rumor, don't know if it's true, that only the host of the of the Armadas gets the chest. But sometimes I feel like, no, I think I've gotten a chest um, just simply by surviving. Um, like being the only one that survives. So what I'm testing is that I want my crew that have Stellas to start fighting these bigger Armadas with me so that we can all benefit from it. But like I said, I test um, myself alone because if I can secure the win, then everybody everybody wins. Okay, so here we are the last few seconds. And uh, cross your fingers. I'll show you crew and everything right after this. Yes, okay. So I beat it. And as you can see, my hole is almost lost. So what I'm going to do so I can get this ship to base real quick is I'm going to go ahead and come over to this system here and send my Stella there um, because I it, it'll take me about like three or four minutes to get back to base. And I'd rather just kill it off um, and uh, repair it really fast and then uh, show you some, some things. So while the ship is on there, we're going to go ahead and take a look at the battle report. Um, a little bit. I'm not going to go through all of it uh, of the battle log, but I'm just going to kind of give you the gist there. 
Okay, so I'm left with a very tiny hole. I killed that thing, thank goodness. Um, and then here we go, 49 rounds. Yeah, I'm not gonna show you all of that, but do pause where you need it. I'm just gonna give you a couple of rounds here. Um, that way the little pause symbol will be in the middle of the screen, not really obstructing your view on anything here that you might wanna read that you might be interested in. Um, it, it, was a, it was a pretty good fight from what it looks like so far that uh, particular exchange bank didn't really uh, do a whole lot to me I, I think other than strip me of most of my hole but you know hey that's a uh, it's a win you know so so yay of course okay so um yeah where's the end of this one yeah I'm already at round four so that I'm gonna stop that now because my ship should be pretty close let's take a look at the loot I got 10k okay almost 11k and got me uh, some of this stuff here Okay, Epic Eclipse. Now, if I have enough, because um, I didn't really see how many of these I have, if I have enough of these to um, do an, um, an Epic Armada, then I'll try that for you. Maybe not in this video, I'll clip it together. Um, that way I can hit that Epic as well. Now, for the second Stella, I like to... Um, uh, I like to save up all those Epics and I'm gonna start saving up all my uh, rare uranium as well. That way I can go ahead and max my next one after I've scrapped it and uh, get all those particles so I can go ahead and finish up on all the, um, there I'm dead, um, finish up on, uh, on that research because a maxed st uh, Stella will get you uh, well over 400K particles. Um, and as my second Stella is right now, it's uh it's only at 48,000 K um, and it's gonna be a while till I get to actually um, uh, scrap it because uh, looky here on the second one down scrapyard 23 days I can speed that up but I'm gonna go ahead and let it ride and, and I'll tell you why here in a, in a little bit well you know what I'm gonna tell you now because knowing me I'll forget and I'm pretty sure some of y'all who have been watching my videos I'll mention something and then totally forget it <laughs> okay so uh, let's go to officers real quick. As you see, I'm using my uh, my Kurt, uh, Khan, and Spock up on the bridge. Um, pretty strong characters there on their on their own. And um, then, of course, on bottom row, I set it mostly for attack. And uh, you know, the 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 Kirk and Spock and the Bones, they're the ones that are mostly given the defense uh, that you see there. And then, of course, health. I'll tell you what I did. I took out the triple and I added um, uh, six right here. Uh, because of those numbers right there the triple has over 3,000 health, but he doesn't have that much on attack and defense So with six of eleven He adds to all three health being the most that he's adding and the little bits of health that all the other characters have They uh, group with that and so they make it a pretty decent number uh, Which is probably health um, and defense is, is most likely why I survived uh, Why I killed it uh, of course was definitely all the attacks um, so what I did, uh, from my normal crew, and I'm going to show you that real quick. I'm going to go ahead and swap ship and take out Saladin because it has one more seat available on the bottom, uh, for you. So normally this is my, my normal setup crew. Let me go ahead and get my guys, uh, set up real fast. Um, yeah, I don't normally have these three. I have Khan here usually, Kirk Spock, and then of course my Pike crew would normally be on top here. Um, just to show you what I roll around with in um, in uh, my PVE action. I go there, and then I go to group and bring her. <coughs> Pardon me. So this is my normal PVE thing. Now. What I'll do, because I know I'm going to lose that last seat on the bottom row, I'll go ahead and um, uh, strengthen these guys up here. I'll put him back. Get rid of these. Move my Khan, my Kirk, my Spock. And then I'll move Gorkon to the first seat. Then I'll come here and I'll go attack mode. And I'll put these guys, my strongest attackers, and then I'll go ahead and uh, uh, get rid of Tribble. You know what? I'm going to, so I can have them available when I reset my thing here. I'm going to go ahead and, uh, and and do this here. Now, when I go back to Stella mode, you'll see that the Tribble is going to be null. 
All right, but I have all my attack. I have my my uh, six there, and I got bones and Ahura, so I'm going to save that. I'm going to take it back to Stella, and and then of course there we are right there. Um, so that's that was my basic setup uh, on how I beat that by myself. Yay! Uh, and now I'm going to show you something here that's going to interest you now. For those of you who haven't really paid attention to a lot of your um, researches, okay, like, okay, well, how did you get it that strong? Uh, what did you do? Well, one, here in the R&D building, okay, on the R&D building, when you see these little pods that are, that are beneath it, you'll see the 39s um, in a half circle there, and then, of course, one missing. Now, the one, I think it's this one here, uh, battleship, yeah. So the Stella is a battleship. So the higher you have this guy... Um, you're gonna you're gonna build up strength for the Stella, so that helps tremendously. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and go to uh, research here, and we are gonna go to Outlaw, because of course Stella belongs to Harry Mudd, so he's an Outlaw. And what you want to do is you want to find any and all of these that have to do with um, with Stella. Okay, Stellar Research, um, you, you get all that going, and uh, use your particles to start fixing those up. When you come here, um, you start leveling them up, of course. A lot of you know that already, and so yay, all right. But as I mentioned, I do have a few new players that aren't quite there yet. So others that you also want to pay attention to are going to be the ones that kind of benefit all your ships. There's going to be, um, I'm trying to find it here, I don't think it's in here. But there's going to be some that will enhance your crew. Okay, not particularly in here. Um, however, we're going to go on to, let's see, combat real quick. On combat, you want to find all of these that, that help uh, prime hulls and, and, and exploits and, and all that. And you want to find, uh, where am I at? Interceptor weaponry, evasive interceptors. Uh, where's the one that I'm trying to finish here? uh explorer and battleships okay so all these battleship ones you want to get all of these um uh set up as well that helps your stella then of course um you know so the stella it's 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 uh not going to be benefited by any of these guys here but yes over here yes okay battleship um now we're going to go to i think galaxy has it galaxy will help you of course with warp technology that helps with um uh, getting the Stella to that point faster. Let's say you're shooting, you, you set it and you lose, but you want to set it again before somebody else comes and takes it and kills it off, then you can uh, most likely start the Armada while you're still at your base and your Stella will race over there and get there either in the nick of time or a minute early or, or what have you. But that's where that's going to help. Prime officers, that's going to help you out a lot. Um, let's see as we're coming down it's been a while since i actually took a look at this uh research tree but um, okay advanced training this is going to be one here that's going to interest you some uh to attack to all the uh, attack defense and health to all the officers look for stuff that um helps out with your officer builds as well um and and that'll that'll help get you so anything that helps all of the ships anything that helps all of the crew anything that is specific to that type of ship that class of ship uh, you know do everything that says battleship for the stella do everything that says enhancing your officers do everything that says even away teams you know away teams will have this also down here um where it will add uh these three up here on the, on the top of these three those will help your crews now down here on the bottom these are going to help specific factions of course that's not going to help stella however um I think, uh, yes, right here, Battleship Overcharge on the bottom of the middle of the screen. And then over here, uh, Battleship Nacelles as well. That's going to help you get there a lot faster as well. So look out for all of those in your research tree. Um, that's about the best that I can give you right now. Um, work on your Stellas. Try to get a second one. Of course, you can get them free in the event store when they do offer them. That way you don't have to spend a lot of money. It's worth getting that second one, I'm telling you. Um, so, uh, with that, I'm going to go ahead and leave you. I'm right about at my mark. So any other video is going to be as a, um, as an add on. So look for that in descriptions, please. Um, where you'll see me say a lot of what I just said earlier in the video, 
uh, but with the epics that I killed and, and stuff. So, thank you. Um, so, if you like the video, please leave a like. If you're brand new to me and want to watch more, hit subscribe. Um, I put out videos maybe as often as I can. I don't do it every day, and sometimes I go a week or two. It depends on what my crew is asking me in my chat room, really. That's why I haven't monetized this thing. And so, um, th thank you for watching. Thank you for all your uh, uh, tips, your help. Uh, I want you guys you know, to know that I appreciate you very much. Um, go down my playlist. See if there's something of interest that, that, uh, that might help you or one of your crewmates. And it can be very uh, taxing to sit there and text it all in the chat room. So if you can just give them a link, share that link to them within your chat rooms, then they can just, you know, watch these videos on their own time. So uh, with that, as always, thank you for watching. Have fun. Take care and good luck.